We're gonna be playing some sled racing on Club Penguin. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. Hey guys, it's me, Alex, and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to get rid of watermarks. All you really gotta do is cover it up with red. It's it's simple. Hey guys, it's me, Alex, and today we're going to be stealing other people's content and filming my minimal reaction to them. Hey guys, it's me, Alex, and today we're going to be doing a product review of Sloopy Sand. It's uh, it's, it's just sand. What do all of these videos have in common? They all have my insightful commentary. No, no, listen closer. Kevin McLeod. Who's Kevin McLeod? Exactly. Have you ever wondered where all the stock royalty free music comes from? No. Who would spend all of their time making music that they don't even get paid for? Kevin McLeod would. Kevin McLeod has composed over 2,000 public domain songs for anyone to use, as long as they give credit. Because of this, millions of videos on YouTube use his songs in the background. You may not have heard his name before, but you've definitely heard his music. Wow, I would never stoop so low to use stock music. So the question is, why? Is Kevin just doing this out of the goodness of his heart? Or could he be hiding something behind those empty, soulless eyes? Uh, I think you might be looking a little bit too much into this. That's what I thought at first, so I took a deeper look down the rabbit hole, and what I found was... disturbing. Every day, Kevin McLeod's music is getting used in more and more YouTube videos. Eventually, every video on YouTube will have Sneaky Snitch or Scheming Weasel in the background. Once he's infected enough videos with his music, he'll remove the public domain and file a worldwide copyright strike, taking down all of the videos that use his music, leaving only paid advertisements on YouTube. No, Kevin McLeod wouldn't do something like that. Kevin McLeod doesn't exist. He's merely a facade created by advertisement corporations to remove the competition on YouTube. Instead of filling the empty voids in your life with meaningless internet videos, you'll be forced to watch ads for Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. That's terrible. But you can stop this from happening if you stop using Kevin McLeod in your videos. 